Yo, 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 it's your guy, that's all right. And we're here with some more Cross the Obelisk. Today, we're doing some, we're doing a little bit of a challenge. So most of the time I've been playing New Game Plus, I come in with like, <coughs> excuse me, with like uh, 10K resources across the board. Um, <laughs> makes the game pretty easy for the most part. So we're gonna come in, we're not gonna carry any game rewards over. Uh, and we're just going to go straight into this and see how far we can make it. I think I might not win this, to be honest. The hardest part of the game is early on. So, we're probably going to get stomped. Okay. 100% will be loading my cheap battery. Since I 100% need that. Um... And now we're mostly just going to buy cards that I think work. Reginald, we're going to go with a classic Bless. Let's get... Get Holy Smites. Holy Blast. Uh, we'll see if we can't get a Divine Power or not. I'm not too certain if it's... If we'll have the money for it. <laughs> let's, uh... Let's go to Dark to you. Oh my god. We're, I'm playing, um... Malika, because I think... And sometimes that that's bad. But it will have enough, like, passive healing to make it worth it. Oh, let's get upgraded cards as well. Now, there has been some pretty big changes since last. I don't know how well darkness will work. I think it, I mean, big changes don't mean much, but... Basically, we just need to get her level 3. All right, first things first, I'm going to go search for the most important cards. And I know one of them and buy them. And I know... Carnage, where's Carnage? Carnage is so important to get for Gurkly. Uh, where is it? It's three cost? No, it's two cost. Carnage. Definitely grab Carnage. We've got our mage set here. Um, we've picked up... Oh, uh, we'll want an AoE attack and an AoE heal. And then I'll want to snag... Those are all the two cost. I want to snag... What do I want for you? I think I do want... I will eventually want Black Karmas because we can get the, the burn versions. Oh, we want like AoE. Is this can we sort by AoE? I don't think we can sort by AoE. Cheap AoE would be even more preferred. Or any like repeat spells, but that's like later down the road. For now, we just want as much darkness as possible. Yo, hello Nick, how's it going? Cause we're Gonna keep, actually, Shadow Men's will work really well, so we'll keep the Shadow Men's. We'll probably get rid of these Vitalizes, even though they're better. Ah, you know what? Let's get, get an Anthem of Hope. Now we do have another, yeah, let's grab Divine Power. Oh, I can't remember exactly what we run on her, but we'll, we'll make it nice. Okay, let's get rid of all the garbage. And by garbage, I mean all the high cost cards. And then with Gurkly, let's get a precise strike. And with you, let's get one of these bad auguries. Oh, I actually should have got rid of the vitalizers. Whatever. Ah, oh, dude, that run was really good. <laughs> that one was a ton of fun. I almost just grabbed this on accident. That's so in instinctive. Oh, uh, let's. We really, so I think, I, I was thinking about this a little bit earlier. One, first of all, takes take a Sharpie. The free dodge is so important on the back line. Uh, even for the cost of that. I was thinking how important certain things are in this run. And to be honest, I think most it items are like the biggest game changing uh, aspect of this game. Oh, let's put that on him. Let's grab this on you.
Yeah, so this time we're doing a strictly new game plus run, but we're not adding, we're not taking any cumulative rewards that we get. So just the base, the characters have enough uh, levels to have as much money as possible, but we are not diving into anything. Now let's reroll one more time. Dang, this kind of sucks. Uh, we're not, we're not taking any resources, so I think it's gonna be a tougher run. <laughs> All right, I don't see anything that I want to get here. So, let's go do a basic divination. Ooh, Corrupted Sharpen, hello. Yeah, earlier start, Um, I think you might have missed a few earlier afternoon stuff here and there. Friday's pretty hit or miss, not gonna lie. But also, I wanted to do this because <clears throat> we will be uh, popping over to Ashenark later. And I don't know how long I'll be playing that. But I wanted to get a, a run in before. It just makes timing. It, put <laughs> it makes uh, scheduling stuff way easier. What, how did this upgrade? Oh, it doesn't burn. We'll take the shards. The reason why I went there is because I did like one or two, I would like one or two upgrades on some uh, cheap stuff. Oops, not remove. <laughs> like getting these barriers to burn is really important. Also, the healing is really nice on it. I think same thing. I don't know. I'm probably not going to do too much. Uh, we will upgrade these shadow heals. So don't do damage. Um, it's just a lot of damage. And if we, it's basically a 15 heal at one cost. And I'll want to dip this as low as possible. Okay. So new game plus. I wish I could turn in the, oh, hello. Wait, this is new. Oh, whoa, 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 this is really new. I'm glad I randomly checked here. Uh, unlock the ability to sell supply. <laughs> I literally, it's so funny. I was literally like, man, I wish I could sell these extra supplies. Okay, well, we'll hold on to those. That's, that's actually funny. <laughs> I was literally just about to ask that. <clears throat> Okay, so I think if we're gonna do New Game Plus, we gotta go as long as possible. We could get Betty. Doesn't... I think we can get Betty. Doesn't Betty bring us up? I think Betty bring... Let's go get Betty. The, like I said, the biggest point here is we need to get to level three as soon as possible and hopefully snag one or two good items. Uh, our main focus of these fights is going to be our clerics as usual because clerics are just very strong. I mean, not right now. <laughs> They're not very strong right now. The very, very not strong right now. Okay, but divine power yourself. Do this. Especially if we don't pull attack cards. <laughs> Those are pretty important. Oh, so um, we, I should be back on my daily schedule starting today, and then this weekend, uh, I'm gonna have my announcement video out for both the re debut and then also another small announcement that, for the most part, is pretty good. I mean, I think you guys will enjoy it, um, hopefully. And then, um, but any, don't worry, anything that's not important isn't happening for at least another two weeks. So, I'll, uh, you're not missing anything out too much. Uh, nothing here, nothing here. 
Yeah, no thanks. Lost sheep, confront the sheep. <clears throat> Come back, Betty. Oops, don't, <laughs> don't give that to them. Man, today's Friday. I'm pretty good. I, I, this, uh, this whole week I've been a little bit stressed. Um, for a decision I had to make, so it's been kind of wearing on me a little bit. And now I finally committed. Bah, bah indeed. There's not a, it's not an across the obelisk stream unless we hit a million sheep and cause pain and suffering to them. Power. Let's flash heal. Perfect time to flash heal. Couldn't have asked for a better hand from him. Let's uh, let's play safe. Yeah. We had the. What's it called? <laughs> we had the ba. But we also had the 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 heal, so <clears throat> looking for adventure, also looking for corrupted cards that aren't bad augury. Another heal barrier. Interesting. To be honest, I'm tempted to take this detox. It's already upgraded. It still burns itself for nothing. I think it's a good safety safety measure. Yeah, okay, yeah, we do come up here. Nice. Because I was thinking, like, I want to take this suspicious hatch. Oh, we don't have money for the rare item shop. I want to take this suspicious hatch because yeah, more fights, or we can get to a level earlier. It's pretty important. If we could get to level two before the tree fight, that, that's basically our goal. Okay, um, Malika is like not, the, is not quite good yet. So I'm not gonna focus too many transmissions on her anymore. I mean, not that it looks like she needed them. Oh, God. Yeah, keep getting divine power first. Thank you. Okay, if we holy blast this guy, he'll die. Because he'll take the lightning damage. But yeah, so recently, I've been desperately searching for games you guys recommend me games all the time <laughs> i'm so fickle when it comes to games i try so hard to think of like ah um a lot of games i've definitely looked at before and be like eh and that's kind of it's it's so random and unknowing of what games i'll like really enjoy it's really hard to put a finger exactly what makes me enjoy certain games Like, I'll definitely look at games a lot, but to sit down and actually enjoy them, it's like a whole different process. Now, like, the Crossy Elbow, so this was, this was a rare, a rare find for me. To be so enthralled by one game. I'm recently getting in Path of Exile again, but also that might be something I just do on my own time, or... I did see Insurmountable. I watched NL play it. Um... I, I don't know where to stand with it. I'll have to. I think I'll, I'll give it a shot, but I don't know. Hey, detoxed. Nice. 
Oh, you know, oh, is that Rogue Book coming out next month? Ooh, I enjoyed Rogue Book actually. Um, I think they had the they had a free, a free demo period or something. But uh, ooh, that I will definitely play that. That that gripped my interest. <laughs> that was definitely a good game that I, I really enjoyed. Um. I thought about getting Betty. <laughs> Wait, do we pop back out of the hatch if... I can't remember where we pop back. I think we should pop back out of here, okay. Yeah, Rogue Book was really, really good. I didn't realize that was coming out so, uh, so soon. <clears throat> Nice, easy success. So that's very nice when you get it pretty frequently. Fire weapon, upgrade, alter, remove one card. You know what, let's remove one card. And you might think we're crazy, but this is just a three person fight. I mean, you might summon an imp, but it starts as a three person fight. It's one of the easier locations you can get a challenge on. Shoot, I played that poorly. Yeah, well, Rogue Book will probably definitely have, probably definitely, uh, will most likely have a uh, a few videos associated with it. <clears throat> but you know what I've, I've been curious about, actually? Um, for a little while, I played, I streamed and played Factorio. And it was fun, for sure. Factorio is always a good, a good jaunt. Um, but there is the one game, and I'm, it's, it's, I'm forgetting it right now, but it's very Factorio-like, but you control a giant mech instead. I'd like to kill the Invoker first. Yeah, I love RimWorld, but Rim, RimWorld is a commitment. I have to make a commitment to play RimWorld. I've also played a ton of RimWorld before. So it's a game I've already <clears throat> dove pretty far deep in. Oh, what was the game called? I, so I can't believe I'm forgetting the name. It's, the reason I'm forgetting it is, uh, is because the name is really, <laughs> RimWorld is a 24 hour commitment or until you accidentally kill yourself commitment both fairly frequent. Also, I'm definitely a scum lord at RimWorld, and I don't know how I'd handle not being able to save and load <laughs> when, I, when I eventually lose. Because nobody survives RimWorld. Oh, sharpen. What a perfect time to get it. Dude, I can't believe we got Corrupted Sharpen. Steam World. I always put <laughs> Steam Quest. For the King. I think I've seen For the King. I think I've played For the King. I, I feel that. I feel that in my soul. <laughs> Nothing quite like mistyping like four times in the row and you're like, how did I, what? For the King is like the, the ones with the, oh, it's the, uh, it's like the D&D &D one, right? I didn't draw a single attack on, on you. What is, you, what's up, dude? Like you have the party of three, or is that something else? This is why I browse Steam New so often, because I've played so many of these games. Okay, Piercing Howl, not a bad 
We'll pick up Unholy Storm, because actually, if we uh, upgrade it... Okay, so we'll move one card. I didn't realize I even took this one option. Let's remove... <clears throat> Let's remove a... a punch. Let's... I guess I'll keep healing rain. I kind of don't like it. Uh, let's. Oh, we can't actually. I was gonna remove it. I, I was thinking like what to do about the next act, um, or fire act. But like for the most part, I can't believe we failed this. Whatever, dude. A free fight is more experience for us, even if the cost of probably just comp like rolling correctly would have been the same i guess nowadays when i look for a game i think my my priorities in games have shifted through time when i would uh, like previously search for games it would be <clears throat> Like, ah, I'm looking for a game to have some fun with for a few hours. And then nowadays it's like, how, can I find a game that I will play for the next, like, two weeks? Ooh, the second card speed on this guy is brutal. All right, I gotta f change my focus then. I think we'll be fine here, but it is indeed brutal to resummon the two imps I just murdered. I guess it will slowly but surely just like out damage this guy with our bless. Oh, the frames are gone. Holy shit. <laughs> They're real dead. Oh, I wasn't even allowed. I was so focused on this fight. Oh my god. Goodbye. Hey, it's... We just upgraded the internet. Like, we should have no problems. Alright, we're back. I'm real glad we did upgrade the internet because it's gone from like frames dipping to just kind of, what are you doing? Summoning another imp, giving defense. The frame dips have lasted way less. Off. I mean, that one was pretty, that one was pretty hefty. But for the most part, they've shown their face less. I can take a small little dip in frames, but when it was continuous that those few days here and there, oof. No, okay, well, we're gonna take this rampage because we can upgrade it the other way. Hello, transmission. I'm gonna take fortune telling. It's such a good card. It's legitimately like just a good card. Oh, uh, this potion, what it does, it gets rid of burn. Uh, let's have Mr. Gurkley drink it. Boo. <laughs> uh, let's have you get this speed, because you need it. Let's have... You start with... Powerful, because that's good. Take HP. And... Do you even do any mind damage? No, take the money. Wait, is this new? The outer circle. There's two hidden options here. I wonder who we need. I mean, I'm always gonna try to fit in. 
Even if it costs us a failure. I wonder what the two other options are there. Who else could we bring down here that I haven't before? Let's start with this. As always, I'm not going to complain about it. I mean, I'm going to be slightly not happy with the card, but with the fight and the more experience, it's fine with me. Oh, I totally forgot to ask this. <laughs> I meant to ask this right at the beginning. Um, but if you, I, I am running out of ideas to do. I mean, I'll probably, depending on how this run goes, we'll probably start doing some more New Game Plus stuff. Um, but I'm kind of running out of like build ideas to run besides for the bog standard. Like, I feel like I've gone through most of the ones that were viable. I think I haven't done like ice and bludgeoning damage stuff, but they don't feel very good. So if you guys have any crazy challenges you'd like me to try, like suggest them in the comments, please. Um, How much energy he's gonna have? He's gonna, let's get rid of this precise strike. I would love to test out some ideas. Yeah, you could, you could throw them in the Twitch chat or the whatever the chat is, but I, I have a, feeling I will forget them even if I write them down because I am I am a scum like that <laughs> all right carnage or rampage both work let's do this first yo hey frog how's it going you <laughs> yeah it, i woke up uh played on my phone a little bit and then put up the stream and then started the stream <laughs> i uh i guess I'm, i might do this more often uh on weekends and such because I, I tend to wake up and do whatever the, the game plan isn't nearly as set for my weekend streams But uh, after this, I'll tell you what's happening after. So we'll, we'll play through this run, and then most likely that will we'll finish off there. And then I'll take like a half an hour break. And then Ashton Arc got some difficulty upgrades or updates with some like challenge runs. So I'm gonna definitely pop over the Ashton Arc and check out these new challenge runs. Cause I'm very curious. I've yet to look, and there's already been a, uh, some nice little bug fixes that I, um got to miss, which is nice. And then tomorrow, I'm going to be playing the Factorio-like game, which I will look at as soon as we finish this fight so I can remember its name. Um, Because I am kind of feeling a simulation-like game. Let's heal. Well, simulation, I feel like playing some automation. You know what game that I'm slightly sad about and I, for some reason, can't get into, but I'd love to? I would have loved to get into Satisfactory. I've tried a few times to play through that game and I, something about it just does not feel the same as something like Factorio. I can't quite place my finger on it exactly. But it makes me slightly sad. No energy dispersion, huh? So we can win. We could walk away with some damage done. 
We get the same reward? Yeah, let's heal. We'll get the same reward. Ooh, Curse of Exhaustion. For one cost? To be honest, I'm gonna take that. For the most part, I'm a firm believer of taking... <laughs> Reginald, that one fail. First of all, let's level up. I'll give you speed. Give you buffer. Give you HP. Let's fight. Where'd my train of thought go? The words just vanished from my brain. Or snag that energy early. It'll be nice to have some bonus later on. No, not low self-esteem. <laughs> Nothing worse. You know what, we'll uh... We'll actually push this energy. Does it actually just give us? It doesn't cost zero. It, that used to cost zero. I mean, we can now make it cost zero, but. We're going to save, hold off on this healing rain. That kind of sucks. To start off with. Does he some, always summon two imps? I can't remember if he always summons two imps or just one. Yeah, tomorrow's streams are definitely gonna be... Yeah! <laughs> healing... Healing is still... the way to go. And trivializes a lot of the scary stuff. But I I think also just the levels are too... I, I played this one safe. I think I, I picked up uh, Malika with the expectations that we would need additional healing since the fights would take longer. But uh, it's still like the strongest thing in this game. I mean, you could just... So for what I've seen, you could just really go sharpen on on the, the rogue and then he just kind of carries the game but consistency is really nice and we can consistently get some good stuff with double healers yo hey Mordecai how's it going it's Friday that's pretty exciting it's Friday the weather is nice one day I'll go cut the grass. <laughs> we've uh, we've received uh, we're dog sitting uh, for a few days here, so I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a furry friend at home, and that's pretty exciting. I'm a huge animal lover, as seen by my random cat appearances. That's some. I, I wish the mic picked it up, but she is just the most adorable thing. Zap first, see what card we get, and then just eat. I still think... Yeah, New Game Plus is very tough. And I, they, I think they've only made it tougher as time has gone on. But you definitely need... You need everyone at least in their sixth tier. To, to feel comfortable. Okay, he should die here. So I'd like to... Oh, no, he's not gonna die. <laughs> I'd, like to, I'd like to heal, please. 
thank you. I don't know if we, if he, if he, when he dies, that we win. We're gonna curse of exhaustion him. Oh, but our flame ticks are ridiculous right now. So I'd like to win. Okay, it was very close. Let's get a war paint. Where do we got one sharpen? Speed. So, speed's so much more important on New Game Plus. Man, no luck with the items. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take this because I need. Oh yeah, you should be fine. Yeah, no problems. I need um. I want the item and the resistances. Give this. Let's give this to you. I can't believe you got most of the. There's such a ridiculous amount <laughs> of game time to get everyone to 36. I'm so impressed. Yeah, so we want to go with well, the sheep. We want to hit the trainer as well. The trainer is very important to grab. We should easily hit this or at least like. Uh, don't mind me. No, it, it ran. I didn't know it actually ran. <laughs> what a waste. Shit, can we do this? We're full life, mostly. I mean, still. An upgrade alt, like we have so much. Ah, oh, this sucks. This is a tough choice. So removing a card would be really nice because we can get some of these stupid self-esteems that we've uh, created because RNG has said no today. But also I'd like to actually upgrade some cards and change them around. Let's, I think the upgrading cards will have more of an impact. I mean, it's going to be a tough fight. God, I can't believe you started with that. That's garbage. Don't draw it. Okay, let's give this to you. Hopefully we'll get a dispel on, on her. So we can get rid of this mine garbage. Close enough. And actually, because these guys have so much HP, I can actually focus dark on one person. No, my brain. All right, we took out Mr. Mr. Tusk Man. Tuskin Man. He's evading everything. Detox you.
Where are all my smites? I ask ye, where, where have you put all my smites? Give the old gurgly try, take all my energy. No, Purge 2 is awful. I forgot he had Purge. Actually slightly useful. Surprisingly had fire on himself. This still looks pretty good. He's annoying. This guy's annoying as hell. It sells these mushrooms. We have to play a smite. <laughs> I, what, I, mean, I imagine Bless is just gonna get purged away again. Curse of Exhaustion, make you slow. Oh my god, he's already last, never mind. I'm sorry. God, get rid of all this. I'm a bit worried about Gurkly, which is why I wanted to get rid of all his garbage. But also, without our healer having, we're having like plus seven million on costs. are so tough. <laughs> Is he dead? I think he's dead. Dispel. Do what you can. We survived. And we'll get the upgrade altar, which is nice. Definitely take cleave. Definitely cleave. Um Everything else is meh. Alright, first things first, let's uh let's transform our cards to the better variants for us. Oh wait. Good thing they cost nothing. We can transform them back. Let's get our cards rolling. Definitely gonna, we, uh, upgrading Carnage seems like the best choice. The, the vulnerable is so good. It's particularly on bosses. And then making these cost, having at least two of these cost their normal cost and the rest cost one is like the best way to go. Okay, let's take down the cost of these vile lances. We're not taking this upgrade yet. Carnage is, it, it is so good. <laughs> it, it's such a nice card. It does basically everything you want. Let's actually take this. Let's upgrade these bloods for blood to consume. We're having some issues with this spell. Speaking of this spell, we should upgrade the spell.
So last choice is hard. I don't know quite what I want to upgrade. Like, make Flash Shield draw a card? Oh, give me that. We might end up getting rid of them anyways. Oh, I didn't realize you could make all the Flashes draw a card. Uh, our, our team comp has has no one to distract big guy. Oh yeah, the discard stack would be nice. I can deal some damage. Speaking of sharpen, there it is. He's gonna summon his army, and so we can just smack away. We can heal up as well. Grant this, we can do this fire now, because it gives us the most benefit. I mean, it's, you know, three HP, six HP over three turns, not super important. What might save us in the end? You never know. God, the low self themes are, are quite brutal. Um, I don't want to detox yet. There might be a more opportune moment when we, we truly need it. Ah, perfect carnage. Nice. Okay. One for everyone is okay. What you doing? Getting a lot of defense, making us slow and vulnerable, hitting us very hard. Nothing fun. Not a good hand. We're gonna heal up really nicely here. Let's look at, I, I like looking at Gurkley's cards. It gets us all the good stuff. And we can get rid of all the garbage. That we have way too much of. I didn't really focus fire here too well. Oh my god, is she dead? She's really close. Thankfully, our guy is going. Um, and thankfully we pulled no healing cards, but we have some draws. Okay. Who's next? You are next. Actually, this works out perfectly, uh, cause everyone dies. Well, not everyone dies, but everyone's going to die. Let's look at your hand. It's good. We can keep that. All right, yes, slow, slow down. Take my bleed. Let's Cleveland and then Rampage. The good thing, <laughs> it comes with some positives and negatives with the enemies basically going twice in a row. For the most part, I think the negatives are far worse. <laughs> But the positive, if you survive the blast, is we do basically go twice in a row.
and that might be just enough to either at least survive. Probably not pulling out any big wins here. Oh, I'm, what? I didn't play. Wait, wait. <laughs> I just did decide not to play the last free card in my hand. All right, I guess we're stacking up some energy. All prayer of healing is so nice here. Okay, we can get rid of Cleveland. So I don't think he ever summons again, or if he is, it's this turn and I'm sad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Just hit, just hit the back guy. That's all I ask. Okay, we should be fine here, even with your minimal energy. Just enough to win. All right, good. How nice of him to resummon instead of killing us. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'll get another war paint. Oh, we could get a mana search. Nice. If only he could do it when I don't straight ask him to, and like, you know, he proves my, me wrong, that'd be nice. Free damage upgrade. I mean, we'll take this. We don't. We don't really have a reason not to. Yo, our our equipment is so weird. Oh yeah, we'll just engage. We have mostly max HP, ignoring Mister Gurkley. It's a good hand. Slow him down. Get some vulnerable going. Nice. I'll take that. Let's try to kill Moon Lady in the middle. Oh, uh, yeah. I do it to level up faster. Because we're, we're almost pushing... We're probably not quite there. But we're almost pushing level three. Basically, if you could, the more encounters you can do, the better. Trying to go for a long, oh, another vulnerable stack. Going for a long haul is is such the such an important thing. I mean, it's gonna take us longer. This run's probably gonna actually go for our normal like three hours that <laughs> these runs sometimes do. Unless we lose, we could lose. We're, we're not like super strong here. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what that's for. Not gonna lie. I, I guess if you have like 10k, you probably don't either want to deal with or care about. your next seven cards. Yeah, probably something along those lines. Or like, you know, you, you, you stop in with a million bucks. 
and you're like, well, I'm here to do something else. I don't really need... I, I have uh, paid my way instead of needing to actually spend. Okay, uh, who's... You're most likely to die. Let's give her this. That should help against the giant move game that's coming next round. He's gonna heal the fool. Because we don't have a purge, which sucks. Um, it comes one early on New Game Plus. So it's four? Maybe it's four? I know, I just gotta be prepared for it. I know that it comes earlier than, I, than I'd like it to. Or at least try to prepare with our no, um... Hey, let's take out him. Let's heal. And do damage, because we can. I mean, the best preparation is just healing him. <laughs> just winning the game is the best prep. Yeah, there it is. I don't know if how it affects. I, I haven't played enough New Game Plus to to know how it affects other areas. God, this is gonna hurt. But I imagine each boss has been specifically tuned to New Game Plus to be the biggest nuisance possible. <laughs> That's what I would do. If I was the devs, I'd be like, okay, my, you know, they're not expecting the moonbeam here. Let's get it early. This. We have a prayer of healing. Let's actually, is he gonna, he's summoning. Dispel three. I, what are the odds? Oops, wrong one. That's not a good blunder. Probably pretty high. But we can at least counter his stupid thorns. Yo, it, nice, we got lucky. Keeping the Sanctify on him will uh, will help us heal significant, or help us stay alive so much more. Was it, what, so it's a, uh, probably, we probably got lucky. Not each um each character starts with a specific deck of cards. From there, they all pull from a similar pool. So we have we have a warrior, a mage, and two clerics. So all clerics will pull from the same pool of cards. But Reginald starts with more of a blessed deck, which is this thing here, and uh, Malika starts more with a darkness deck. So they have their flavors. And then each character has its own 
separate leveling system, in-game leveling system. So, uh, Reginald, of course, goes for more of a Holy Bless kind of deck, getting more of this ever-stacking Bless damage, and Malika goes with Darkness ideas. Yeah, Sanctify saves us here. Because we're not taking any damage, because we heal every time we do. Or we're taking less damage. <laughs> Otis is, I enjoy Otis. Otis is a uh, Sanctify build. He, he goes with the Sanctify idea. Is actually bonkers. Carnage, let's go. Like you get some crazy Sanctify near the end. What's Fanaticism upgrade to? Eh, I don't think I need another energy card in the deck. What's the bar below the HP? I'll have to relook. You can take this, I guess, since you don't have anything else yet. How much money do we have? Let's take the money. I don't like these other things. Oh, that might be the energy. Is that where the HP bar is? It might be the energy bar. Where do we go? Um... Let's get fire out of the way. I hate Fireland. Goodbye, money. It was it was nice knowing you. Thank you. That's what I thought it was. I can't. I'm surprised. That I I don't even know where the H part normally sits unless you point it out. Dang, we didn't get lucky. Yeah, so energy doesn't go away in this game, unlike a lot of the other ideas. You have, um,. You build around certain ideas of, okay, if I don't, I don't need to spend these cards this turn, and next turn I will get some. I'll have more energy to spend, so on and so forth. Is it? I've never used it, but also doesn't sharpen go away at the end of the turn. It's just one damage. I guess on the rogue, it is it is broken because the rogue, um, the rogue can get more than one sharpness each turn. Kind of like the bless for Reginald. It would have been okay on Gurkley because we do have the. It would have kept our our sharpened stacks basically. I didn't, it didn't even cross my mind because I'm so used to not have him not pushing for that. This is a tough choice. I, we need to pick up an epic card here. Like evocation is just super nice. Flash freeze could save us in a rough patch. Purging ray. We don't need it. But one would be nice to have. Grinding wheel, huh? It makes carnage even more broken. You know what? Let's let's upgrade. 
<laughs> car, car, upgrading cards itself is gonna give us take all of our money away. Now let's remove some. Yeah, I'm Gurkhalid's B tier. If we had either of the rogues, like 100% amazing. We really we picked up like no cards on on Malika. Oh, we can get rid of these these elemental wards. Trim our deck up a little bit. All right, that's uh, that's all of our money. As always, let's go to let's go to the ooh free upgrade, mute to bleed. Oh uh, yeah, I do stream on Twitch as well. It's at uh, Azurai Gaming. I I thought I. Started on YouTube and, and mostly probably gonna be on YouTube, but um, at some point, some people suggested I also stream to Twitch, and here we are. Immune to Bleed is pretty killer. Gurkley's not level 3 yet, which is. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel confident in fighting this. Is that the... I think I know which card you're talking about, and I think I normally take it, but I usually just forget about it. The the one that gives elemental and also powerful if you upgrade it. The one way. This pick, yeah, it would have been really nice in this group, but I will come across, will hopefully come across it. It's not uncommon. Yeah, Prismatic Field. Yeah, Prismatic Field is a top tier card. And I am a fool for not getting it. Because it, it falls in line with, like, Evelyn's build already. Like, a super heavy buffer. So even giving more out is, like, nice. It's kind of like I like anth like a single anthem of hope as well. Not even for the courage stacks, but just for the extra card draw is really nice. Okay, let's take out front guy. Uh, maybe I should have gotten rid of those evade stacks. Actually, you know what? You can get rid of these evade stacks. Nice. Divine power. I think I, I definitely Holy Blast. Nice, what a good hand.
<laughs> Surprisingly decent RNG. I don't know if I want like would like one to die or it oh he pulled cleave the start. What a crazy draw. Alright, well, that worked perfectly. Could I have done the corrupted? I don't know if I could have done the corrupted L1 still. No thanks, no thanks. Yo, where, speaking of corrupted, where are all my corruption cards? I've seen one. Wait, I don't think I've ever seen a, uh... Never, I've never not seen the, the card guy here. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen a fight here. Or like, at least remembered it. Usually there's always the card guy. Almost all like 99% of the time. Let's uh let's jump. Nice, that worked out pretty well. Need divine power. Not the best hand. Uh let's flash heal to get a card, I guess. We'll end up, this guy will end up taunting. So it, it feels sucky, but we should grab him anyways. Hmm. That looks really good. Dude, I'm so excited. I can't wait till we get, uh, the, uh, I level three. I level three will, will make this game so much easier. I think that's really the hardest part of the game is getting to level three because level three, you can't take off. You said there's, there's some troubles along the way, but for the most part, things become much simpler once you reach there. Yeah, this is an absurd hand. If only we actually had level three, I think most of these guys would be dead. You know what I've been realizing? I've 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 been questioning like why she hasn't been taking damage when Ooh, curse of exhaustion. Um when she's going, but I forget she gives herself evade, so technically never takes any of that damage. Oh, uh, let's see if we can't kill big guy. Yeah. Get out of here, big guy. Sharpie, I think, still the best. Also, look how many debuffs this guy. Still the best character to have for your backline. So many carnages. <laughs> so good. Man, I guess we have been getting some, but they've just been not good. Corrupted, cor oh my god, that's so much stuff. I'm tempted. You know, let's grab it. Uh, penance as well is pretty good. Yo, flight of lies. Yeah, Gurkley, Gurkley starts taking off. He hasn't even gotten his next level yet, but as soon as he does, he'll take off even more so.
So the general game plan is Gurkly is like our early game and he's just a beast. And then um, Reginald is our like late game. I mean, Gurkly also can go late game, but Reginald has the ever increasing stacking damage. Which is just enough to start like doing some crazy damage later on. I mean, even early on, he's okay. Like, this guy's dead, for example. And then uh, Malika is here to be a very solid, like. What's the crap? Like, she does a lot of small healing, which keeps everyone topped off. She's not here, she's not here doing Reginald's like, you know, crazy hundred heal turns. But she can hold her own um and help along the way. She's like in a she's support. And then of course battery. And then one day Malika will also uh take off with her own healing or her own damage. It just, she needs an item, a very specific item. Which normally we stumble upon, but today we're not. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, Evelyn is like our, without Evelyn, we would be screwed. Our, the strategy wouldn't work. But also she's the battery, <laughs> which is I I think holds a higher position than support in this game. <laughs> she's the <laughs> Her life is probably pretty miserable, just constantly giving energy to everyone else. Um let's fight the fang gang. Or maybe she likes it, I don't know. I ain't in her head. <laughs> so yeah, so I have figured out, it's so funny, dude. My, I, I've complained about my work a lot here. Cause it's easy and I think it's, <laughs> a lot of people feel the same sometimes. But, um, so I was happy working from home. They brought me back in, not too happy. Uh, but they, decided when I was to come back to mess with the the PC uh, has been can you give um yeah the the biggest thing early on is just to get some levels you're gonna you're gonna struggle a lot I believe the devs have worked in um let's see here that has made the beginning game easier but the reason why we're so powerful here is because all my characters are very much leveled up. Uh, let's go look at levels real quick. Or perks. So like we're, we're basically maxed out here. So getting those levels quick and then playing to the character strength is also very important and learning kind of where that is. Also... This is made my personal personal preference, but once unlocking the other characters is of course nice. Yeah, I I need, um understand the value of the cards as well is pretty important. Knowing which ones tend to be good, knowing which ones to upgrade. When you uh, when you start the game, you should take some time and maybe familiarize yourself with how the upgrade system works. It's not that it's complex, it's just there's so many choices, and they're all nuanced in their own way. But yeah, also having... Oh yeah, um... That's a very good tip. That's an amazing tip. Um, there'll be a lot of instances where you run upon... Things like, oh, you can get 
you know, if we succeed here, you'll do so and so. Um, but on boss fights, and unless you're like really desperate, you should never try to RNG yourself. Like I can, because for the most part, my decks are solid enough and I know kind of where the characters are lying. But early on, you should not be doing RNG stuff too much. It's uh, it's kind of <laughs> a, an interesting balancing point because it, the rewards are like really good when you succeed sometimes. But I think uh, I think it's sometimes too RNG heavy. Man, just putting some time in as well. Leveling is very important. Uh, I'm a fan of two clerics, so unlocking Otis early on and then running Reginald and Otis. What uh, who do you run with? And then kind of like, what's your general ideas when you go into the fights? This guy. You know what? That's actually a challenge run that um, I saw recommended is always take a card. We'll have to try. We'll have to try that one day. Yeah. So um, in terms of upgrading, I think upgrading your base cards is your most value proposition early on. Epic cards are nice but they're incredibly costly if you upgrade the wrong ones. So for example, um, I've upgraded Carnage. I spent a decent bit of money to upgrade Carnage. Uh, that's because I believe Carnage is like one of the best cards in the game, but you should focus on the cheaper cards. Um, before you get the town fully up, focus on the ones that do like 90 and such or somewhere in that range. Because early on, the small advantages are really important. I.e., you know, it might only be a two damage, but it's two more damage across the board for every character. Okay, this Curse of the Elements is not too shabby right now. Like you see here, I, I don't know if you play with a battery, but um, having Evelyn go lightning build gives energy is so important in this game. So having Evelyn, the, I don't know if I definitely wasn't the first person to find this, but I definitely found it on my own is lightning gives you energy. And then because you're getting so much more energy, it's very easy to pass that energy along. Um, and then maybe another tip is if your hand's not good, you don't have to play it. Like walking away with, you know, three energy is fine sometimes. Saves you for the next hand, so on and so forth. And because energy is so important, um, low cost cards, unless you're running a battery, which kind of changes the entire play style, I'd say. Um, you should always focus on decreasing the cost of your cards if they have that option. Because energy is very important early. Also, epic cards are absurdly costly to upgrade.
Yeah, Healing Rain and Detox are both um, nice cards to have if you're not confident. <laughs> like, I don't have Detox, and I only have one Healing Rain. That's because I'm fairly confident, and I know... Um, this. I know what the that's a, another thing is all the enemies in the game so far at least if you're playing normal follow a, a, the same pattern they'll always do certain moves at certain times and they might hit random people but they're always going to target random people so knowing the enemies is also very important and which routes work with your build is like some knowledge you'll gain over time like for example going north in this fire map gives you the this fight but also you'll fight harpies and harpies do a lot of lightning damage but if you go south you'll be fighting <clears throat> excuse me um hit him a lot nice do it again super nice you'll be fighting a lot of people with fire damage so having a lot of water in your deck is not um a bad choice Look at this hand. <laughs> I think Double Priest is my favorite comp. It's the, it's a super safe comp. Uh, and scales pretty ridiculously. <laughs> yes. Yes, he would. It's not quite as good as the one lightning strike that the the storm guys do in the poison land, but uh, it's close. Hmm, I didn't realize this guy went infuriate. I guess I've never seen this guy survive as long, so. It's the same hand. <laughs> I, is this all my lightning cards? All right, he's super dead. If we could kill him this turn, that'd be great. I guess it doesn't matter. Hmm, I don't want another rampage. Dude, Doctor's Falls is like probably pretty good. Ooh, wow, look at this. Ooh. Oh, another thing, uh, if, if you haven't noticed it, but sometimes cards will come upgraded and sometimes they'll be this purple color. Uh, purple is corrupted, so you actually get both effects of an upgrade. And sometimes they don't quite fall perfectly. Yeah, he'll be, it'll be really good against, honestly, anyone. Making sure they can't heal is so nice. Panacea, huh? Who gets this? Reginald, yeah. Let's take a... Let's, let's take a Corrupted Panacea. Are we level three yet? We're, we're so close. It's either like this fight or next one, right? We gotta be, we gotta be right there. This fight's gonna be really rough. The, the one thing I miss is the lack of mark. Ooh, nice. I miss not having mark. So we can, like, when these guys eventually fly high. Yeah. 
Ooh, nice. Good, good hand. Don't snipe. Yeah, there's the... If we can kill her before she before she flies high, that'll be very nice. Oh my god. <laughs> Guess it depends if RNG favors me or not. And it looks like it does. It also looks like Gurkley's a monster. <laughs> It's like not e it's not even close how much damage Gurkley has done compared to everybody else. He just he's an absurd monster right now. Literally done combined everyone else's damage. Okay, we have a turn, because she's got to go. Let's heal here. Perfect. <laughs> I love when the game does exactly what I want it to. I love this guy. He's, he, I think he might be my favorite character. Ooh, another sharpen? You know what? Yeah, let's get another sharpen. Oh, Firestorm. I don't think is good at all. It's a lot of damage. But not, not a part of the build. Yes, let's go. Level three. Bleed. Let's keep you, let's keep you healthy, Dispel, a holy spell, and Dark on hit. And now our team is monstrous. And with a discount, I think it's time to upgrade our epic cards. Give extra this. We can burn through our black karmas now. Get two charged batteries to vanish from our deck. Let's upgrade sharpen as well. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess we might as well upgrade these intercepts. Or, um, you know, let's upgrade these holy smites. These two holy smites. Do we do it again? Yeah, let's do it again. Let's take the money. I, I really, 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 really need some better items on our characters. All right, now we can start increasing uh, Malika's uh, mana as well. Because she now has her stuff going on for her. Not, qu Still not quite as good as Gurkley, probably. But enough to be notable. 
Mostly because we don't have any plus dark on her yet. We fade, okay. Or one evade. Um. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see what this does. Yeah, that's a lot dark. We are. We're not max, but we're close. Perks. Um, I think we're all above 26. Because I think 26 is what you need for tier 6. So everyone here is at least level 26. With Evelyn being my highest rank out of the crew. Or May 23, somewhere in the mid 20s, and Evelyn is max for sure. She's a, a staple in basically every build. How much damage does Malika do? Okay, yep. Suddenly, uh, suddenly Malika is joining the ranks of professional damage dealer. Now would be the perfect time to get some high cost cards where our energy is absurd. Let's hold this first. Darkness does make boom boom. <laughs> There's a reason why I enjoy Malika so much. And it's not her early game. But if you can get a dark card early, if you can get the, uh, I don't even remember what it is, but if you can get something with darkness early, she's like so much better. Oh, she has plus one of eight. She's going to dodge the snipe, too. Or it's probably coming. Oh, no, it's cold. Uh, well, both came, actually. Cold a week and the... I mean... <laughs> Dude, look at this guy. <laughs> Absolute monster. Wrecking Ball's garbage. Ooh, upgrade and mana surge. Nice. Do I keep divine power? Let's keep divine power. That's also pretty good. Let's face the matriarch, because that's why we came this way. For the lightning crown. I think we can get a lightning crown or something lightning here. Another um, thing to contemplate in builds is, and this is why Gurkley is so powerful. It, it might seem absurd, but Fury... I believe all these are separate instances or the way it's calculated like stacks multiply uh multiplicate multi it stacks with multiples instead of addition <laughs> i don't know why i can't say that word multi multi just sigh basically fury hits then dark powerful hits and then sharp hits or some some combo of that makes a uh, makes gurkley a beast multiplicate Multiplicity. Multi we're going to get there. <laughs> Multiplic. God dang it. Multiplicative. Multiplicative. Lee. Just a, another day of cannot speak but do it for my job. <laughs> You are oh, penance, nice. Yeah, that's 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 something good to note. 
Okay, let's make you dodge that. Yeah, howl. That's also why I, I initially, on a lot of my early videos, I went full bleed ideas. But, or full um, poison on my rogue, because it was a ton of fun. But yeah, having, having poison at the end makes it so much worse than bleed, surprisingly. Um, excuse me? Why is everyone hiding? Thankfully, I can still hit with this garbage. <laughs> Get out of here. Well, this garbage, this amazing smell, actually. Oh my goodness, the double divine power. Yo, poor Evelyn, man. Everyone comes for her. She actually might die here. I'm kind of, I'm a little bit worried because he might, this thing might call the, ooh, that was so close. Oh no. Oh, she going, where's she going? <laughs> no. <laughs> My battery, how dareth you? That's annoying. Uh, oh, annoying death to get. We'll be fine this fight. Yeah, at least she'll be, I mean, if she had survived that attack, she probably would have been 100% HP because we can heal her up really easily. Dang, that sucks. I guess out of everyone to die, she's probably the best. Because she doesn't really do damage. And that's the biggest thing that, I mean, besides it holding a slot. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this. I don't, I don't remember. If, it's been so long since I've gone this way. And we get the harpy egg as well. Oh, this one's so hard. Uh, do I have, I don't think I have anything I want to upgrade, particularly. Wait, why are you full HP? Did we rest and heal long? Did I miss a rest? Why should, what? I'm very, very, very confused. <laughs> what a what a card to draw after using the same card that's pretty funny Oh, nice. Good draw. Good draw. RNG's favoring me today. At least in these fights. Not in the events. <laughs> she 
She's like, hey, I'm here to charge my other friends. I'm gonna charge myself and be at full HP. And I think that might be a bug. I'm, to be honest, I'm really not sure. Do you think she didn't get uh, a death card either? Oh no, there it is. <laughs> there, there, it's situated right there, actually. You know what? Die. Yeah, I think it's 100% a bug. Same. Especially on New Game Plus. I'm surprised you even the game's even that generous. Just not like permadeath. <laughs> God, dude, Gurkly, go, go get, seek some help, man. It's just not fair. Matt, I will 100% take Mass Dispel. Yeah, it's really weird. This fight's ridiculously hard. So there's no way I'm gonna make it even harder. <laughs> New, game, New Game Plus is fun. And I think from now on, I might be strictly playing in New Game Plus. Cause he, like, this is this is kind of the test. Was, um, is this something that is possible? Cause if so, I enjoyed the game being harder. The re I've been hesitant because we've always gotten it with like 10k monies in a dream. But if I don't need that, then... We'll try... The and then we could save our money for like do trying to do like fancy decks. We're, we're trying to like murder this guy in the middle here. Which looks like it's gonna happen. Because Condemn is gonna... Yeah. Condemn him. And yeah, knowledge is like super important in this game. So like the early game is when you are your weakest and the enemies are at their strongest comparatively. And once you get to the late game, you kind of, and you know what you're doing, um, you know what's coming up. So it tends to be like not super scary. The unknown is really killer in a lot of fights. But now knowing that these guys are gonna do their their punch in the fronts and they're gonna you know taunt and sometimes they're gonna treb you bucket, you know, makes it a way less of a, a scare. Do you know I built a trebuchet for, or was it a catapult? No, we built the trebuchet for our uh, high school project. A ton of fun, actually. Right, right. Especially on bosses. Knowing when, like, the moonbeam. <laughs> I, I remember being just completely decimated by the moonbeam from the first, from the tree in, in the early game. <laughs> I absolutely stomped. But now knowing that it's coming, you can try to prepare, hopefully get lucky.
Yeah, dude, I'll, the, having some charge batteries give two energy is crazy. Goodbye, friend. You did not last. Ooh, what's this? Ah, eh, boo, boring. Don't need another sharpen, we have enough. Ooh, scroll of intellect, I'll take this. I think this upgrades, yeah, we can make it draw a card. It's a pretty good, pretty good pathway. Yeah, it's hard to, to remember, because I don't know if you played right at the very beginning, but the game was significantly, everything changed <laughs> from the beginning. Because uh, a lot of people, at least on new game, um, were having issues. I can't believe we didn't hit that. Because the fights, you know, the game was really hard. Not a good hand. We didn't get any transmissions. I mean, we got him coming at full, but he's not gonna draw a lot of cards. Yeah. Yeah, we'll save our energy. Wow, what a what a hand. Gotcha, yeah, okay, so you, you were there when, uh, before they had rebalanced things to not be nearly as difficult. I don't know how much they changed, to be honest. Oh, <laughs> so to be honest, I still have not ever run an infinite card draw deck. I, I know the devs have been very hard at work to make sure we can't do stuff like that, and I'm, I like that decision, but, um... I guess it's just never interested me. Even in Slay the Spire, I never ran an infinite card deck. Or games like those. It's just not, it's not fun. It's boring. For me, at least. Probably cool the first time. Like if I stumble upon it naturally, it's a lot of fun. But doing it then from there and out on purpose is just meh. Right, let's take out these stupid things. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I almost got ch completely shafted by RNG. I mean, I know this guy's probably dead. I've never been so just absolutely demolished. That is such an important draw, by the way. Both the condemn and the slow. I'll also look at this. Between the Dark Heal and the Sanctify <laughs> to be all the way back at H max HP is ridiculous. this guy he's, even if he heals he's not gonna heal too much you know what, let's get rid of all this I don't want any of those cards actually you know what my favorite deck has still been <clears throat> so far I have <laughs> the Thorns deck. I might do a try to do a new game plus Thorns build. Also, I pulled all the ash. Haste fire. Eat that garbage. The Thorns build was ridiculously fun to run. 
it's also really dumb to watch. You can get such high stacks. Oh, yo. What a card. I can't believe we got this. I can't believe this is our corrupted card. Oh my god, that's absurd. Take the energy. Oh, I didn't even see this. Oh, I didn't look. Dang. Just hidden down there. <laughs> oh yeah, double poison is pretty fun. Yeah, it sucks when you have a, a fun poison deck and um, the game decides that nobody survives your fights. <laughs> I guess we don't, technically speaking, we don't need that piece because we will get this. I mean, let's just get the 40 HP instead, but. And can we get a second? We could get a second Sharpie. Okay, first things first, removes death's door. Oh, yo. Oh, do you ready to see some absurdness? Oh, I'm so ready. Also, we got another sapphire ring. This is an amazing shop. All right, um, we just picked up some crazy crap on you. So let's buff you up. Uh, I think I want Dark Outbreak. Yeah, Dark Outbreak. Uh, both Urge and Dark Outbreak. And I'll also give you, I guess it doesn't matter, Purge isn't gonna be too important. <clears throat> uh, you know what? I wish at this point. Ah, oh, thanks, Morkai. Thanks for hanging out. Grab, let's grab these location. I don't think I can upgrade. Uh, we can upgrade Dark Outbreak. We want more jumps. At less damage. Let's remove this vitalize. <laughs> Actually not doing anything. And upgrade on the charge battery. Anything worth it here? Nah. Get to get those to start in our deck. And we don't really need to upgrade Prayer of Healing. Yeah, we'll, we'll hold on. Uh, there's not going to be too much use from it from here on out. Yo, hey, Jay, how's it going? So there's two paths. I'm, we could go this way. We, which we do all the time, but we'd also go down to Spider Lady. We don't really, there's really not too much we need from Spider Lady, but it, she is a mini boss. And I don't go that way too often. Yeah. Also, the, a tough choice 
This event right here is like super nice. Yo, who gets Guardian Angel? Angel? Reginald. To be honest, it's such a cool card that we don't see that I'll I'll try for it. There it is, and we're we are definitely planning to hit it today. That is, a, I'm gonna take a once we finish this run, we're gonna take a little break, and then uh, then we're gonna do some Astronaut. I saw it yesterday. And when I was taking my day off and I was like, what's, what? <laughs> An Astronarch update? New challenges? All right, this. So I am, I'm very excited to give that uh, uh, the good old college try. Okay, we gotta take out guys as soon as possible here. Uh, Cause the less times they have, less, uh, basically they're gonna get this crazy freeze card uh, and the less they can do that, the better. They won't have it right now, but. <laughs> but next round they will. It is. I, I am in having a good time with it. Uh, people seem to be enjoying it a ton as well. So it kind of works in my favor. I was a little bit worried because like I was on the way home from driving yesterday. I was like, I could not for the life of me think of challenges to do. And then I had the idea to, oh, this is gonna be hell. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, thanks for following. Um, to give New Game Plus without any bonuses a tie? Cause so far we've been cruising through New Game, like a normal game, quite easily. Oh, this might be really bad. But if we can get New Game Plus downhill, are we dead here? We might be dead here. <laughs> we, the, this might be the end. If he freezes, oh my god. Okay, Gurkley's not dead yet, but it's pretty likely he may be. I mean, I guess we could just try to win right now. <laughs> oh, this will get rid of our bleed. But it won't get rid of our poison. Oh, uh, does anyone have Sanctify? Oh, this guy has Sanctify. Let's hit him. Oh, we're alive. Uh, yeah, so today we are doing um, just a straight new game plus with no bonuses. Thank God, Sanctify. No, they're going again. But most of them are dying, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> he just sucked his life all the way back up because of how much bleed. Uh, bonuses. Uh, sorry, I didn't. The um, we didn't take any. Thank God. One second. I got. I got to think here. Reginald can't die. Uh, like the um, wouldn't like the the roguelike bonuses, i.e. the stuff you get from winning a run or like completing a run. Okay, gurgly dying is rough. So we did, we took no, ah, why can't I like think of how to, I said it so finally earlier on, uh, any of the, we need another battery. I'm not that good, <laughs> but without, yeah, without doing the, the 
the first chests. Please. Anything good here? Not the... I don't know why I can't think of the name. Ooh, a new item. Another new item. This one's not... I can't substitute this one in. But the run bonus is at the end. There we go. Vaguely got there. Just straight only get in this. <laughs> oh, these guys are so tanky. Because so far I've been doing a ton of challenges with just in like the normal game. But uh, now I'm going to try to bring them over to like the new game plus. I think that'll be fun. And hard, as we're seeing. Act 3 is a monster. Once again, speed seems really important. And we're all not going first. Do I not have an AoE heal? I don't. That's rough. Ooh, this will be really nice. Uh, first of all, profane you. I mostly get too confident. <laughs> I, I was I was too cocky. And while we haven't lost yet, we sometimes just lose in a turn, which is dumb. But that that is new game plus in a nutshell. Oh my god, we got hardly any cards. But also, I'm going full aggro, so that's like another part of the problem. I think had I, if I have a more defensive team, we might survive these bursts a little easier. Tis the perks and also the scary things of a New Game Plus run. this skin yeah eat paste nice and an explosion Okay, now we should be set. I don't think these guys can do too much. I really need level four. So we not have to worry about his bleed anymore. Thankfully, we, we've weathered the storm, it looks like. And we might be able to win, maybe? Yo, Guardian Angel, we got it. You know what? I'm gonna probably put that on Gurgly if, uh... If I don't feel confident. Remove one charge at the start of the turn. I wonder which one goes first. Let's try it out. Does bleed tick or do we remove?
We're gonna, I'm asking the question, so we're not gonna heal it. Oh, nice. Okay, that's that's really good knowledge. That uh, if we on the rare instances that we have the legendary, <laughs> it uh bleed ticks first and then it vulnerables and removed at the very end. Dang. I mean, we can't not. It's corrupted. We really have basically as many bleeds as possible that we can get. To be honest, I think I'm gonna actually put this on you. Um, we need health on her. She has been our lowest HP and it's been quite bad. And honestly, we're doing the same with you. She doesn't get hit too often. So having all this extra stuff will be really nice. I mean, she gets hit often to enough where... Oh my god, another legendary. <laughs> Tabula Rasa will kill us, though. We will 100% not be able to win with Tabula Rasa. Since our entire build is off debuffs, for the most part. <laughs> Goodbye, spider. <laughs> Excuse me. Didn't even survive. Okay, we gotta kill this bloodsucker. I didn't realize how dangerous he was. I think he, he has the, uh, converts, not, not converts, but takes bleed and then adds value, a poison value equal to that bleed on a character, uh, which is quite, quite terrifying. This hand's not really that great. Oh, now it's pretty great. I do miss having a dark orb. Okay, let's consume our bleed. Dark Orb is very missed on Malika. <laughs> this guy, man. <laughs> Absolute biggest counter to Mr. Gurkley. three rounds not quite as good all oh, weekend I guess you didn't get any cards anyways so doesn't even matter Ooh, this is dangerous
Merciful, good card. Honestly, almost even worth just coming down this way. Like, it's free. <laughs> I've never seen so many. 16 damage, that seems about right. I've never seen so many uh, buffs drawn in a row. Three, I think, is the the biggest value, and that was three. I wonder if we could. Do we even have four? Probably not. I'll just give everything to you. Let's slow you down, Mr. Spider. Ooh, unholy Storm. Pretty nice. Let's plop that first. Oh, there's all the Sanctify. Look at that go. <laughs> Man, I miss Piggy. Piggy would have been amazing. Yo, hey Damien, how's it going? Fine power. How's your Friday been so far? You might as well fortune tell Gurkley. We, the carnage is what I was looking for. Decrease this guy's armor and then basically kill him. You know, I'm gonna grab grinding wheel now. Another holy blast. <laughs> yeah, I love four. That sounds like a dream. You know what? I've been. I have. I have thrown my face and um <laughs> I believe into diamond uh, ace of diamonds oh my goodness I've been super feeling baseball baseball is my most nostalgic sport also sports animes are like Amazing. Surprisingly amazing. So I have been, I have been, I have finished the first season. I am on this, the first season is 70 some episodes. The second season is like 50. <laughs> and then there's a third season as well called the second season, which is confusing. But I, don't worry about the somatics. But I've been very, uh, having a good time with that. I watched Diamond of Ace. I can't, I call it Diamond, it's Ace of Diamond, but in Japanese it's Diamond no Ace. Or something along the lines. So I have the two names forever confused. But, um... It's just, I don't understand how sports animes are so good. Like, they're all of them are just so good. Also, I have found some more novels to read. It's always exciting when you're searching for a novel and you find some more and you're like, yeah, on Royal Road, of course, because that's where I live half my life, I guess. <clears throat> uh, but nothing like going to trending and then finding some good reading material and then adding it to my ever growing list.
Also, <laughs> somehow, this is a rarity, but I mentioned this on the Discord a few days ago, but there's these games, I've mentioned on stream before as well, but they're like legitimately good games. They're good little simulation games called from, uh, I don't know, their names are all or over the place, but there's a Japanese company called Kiarosoft. And uh, they have the, the nice little simulation build over time games. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's my that's why i'm such a fan of royal road is because most of those novels update either every other day or on the weekly so i always have something to read uh because you are correct that more often than not <clears throat> you will find some web novel and seven hundred thousand chapters and you're like yeah it's pretty garbage actually <laughs> yeah we succeeded in another success Dark Orb? Ooh, no, with this. Yeah. <laughs> I... The more I read, the less the sunken cost uh, fallacy Affects me. Because <laughs> the more I'm just like, okay, this is garbage. I'm tired. Let's move on. Yo, get one shot again. I think the, the most notable one that I dipped as soon as I stopped enjoying it was... um. Uh, Immortal Goo, I think is called. It is called, which is like, it's a, um, it's a villainous protagonist who had come back um, from from the future, you know, reincarnation, which hits right into my interest. And um, you know, with all the future knowledge, he can successfully find all the best stuff and cultivate. And there is a there is a uh, a manga on it. Ma yeah, Master of Goo, thank you. Um, I got so tired. Like, I can... It's so hard to relate with a villainous... Uh, a truly villainous main character. And you can... I kind of stuck with it because I was like, ah, you know, this is, like, super cool. Um, but at some point, I just got tired of the dude being just a dirtbag. Like, I can only watch someone be a, an absolute trash bin, like, betraying his allies so often before I just get tired of it and as soon as it so I think I got to the point where um like the first location ended and we went to another location and you know it's every you know blah 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 story and exposition and such and all these various explanations are going on and he finds this new person and just straight up just murders him and I'm like you know, spoilers by the way I guess it if you're made it that far, you not too much of a surprise. But I was so tired of it. <clears throat> and I'm probably I'm being intentionally vague. Cause he does it to a lot of people. <laughs> but I just I just dipped it. I was like, I can't deal with this anymore. It's so so annoying. But until then it was like pretty good. I think had it not gone on for so long, like it actually ended, it would have been an easier pill to swallow, but because it just kept going and going. But good up until then. It definitely made you feel like you were reading a, a dirt bag. <laughs> reading about a dirt bag. I should play this first. But that's the that's the most notable one that came to mind. 
Uh, I've stuck out with some a lot longer than I should have. I have a nice hefty list on um I mean and that's that's why I enjoyed him for the most part it's just at some point I like I wanted to see the character change a little bit just enough to maybe like value some people here and there but it at some point it's just the same thing over and over again and it wasn't interesting enough to Make a homemade anti-venom potion? You don't really have too many low-cost cards, do you? Is this some buffer? Nice! This is a good starting hand, too. Rampage with a... Vulnerable. I mean, if I'll take, you know, if a main character does stuff like that and, like, <laughs> knows he's a bad guy, but still tries to act, you know, in the interest of... I'm very much a friend or a fan of not, like, super good characters, but, like, good characters. Oh, do I play this right now? Eh. Or, uh, not good or bad characters here but characters that care about the people they've become close with. That's that's the that's the character sweet spot for me. Like I'll read some that definitely do the uh both on on either side. But those main characters are the ones I tend to enjoy the most. Look how much dark. Or look how much Sanctify we're getting here. <laughs> I am a fan of lawful evil aligned PCs and D&D parties. It does hit right in the good spot. Like he's being a dirtbag, or he's normally a manipulative dirtbag, but because, I mean, it's hard to play because actually that one falls more along the lines of like, whatever you're working for is a common goal. Mostly because I think it's truly hard to play an evil character in Dragons. And make it work. All frames, goodbye. Oh, internet, goodbye, hello? Internet? I oh, know, internet's working. Um, Jesus, dude. Goodbye frames, though. Um, it depends. It's, it's, it, I mean, to each, it's, Alignment is very much in each their own kind of situation. <laughs> Just like frames. Because like when I think of lawful evil, I think it's you have to go for like evil is further than that in my brain. That, that almost feels like neutral, neutral or lawful neutral ish because lawful neutral is you follow the rules, but care about yourself. Yeah, we're back though. I don't know what happened, but we, we are back.
Alright. Sorry, we have, uh, we have picked up a, a dog to... To neighbor. Neighbor? <laughs> to babysit. Uh, and she arrived while we were streaming. So after this, I'm gonna go familiarize myself with lay puppers. Uh, let's get full HP. Go for the long run since we somehow are going super slow here. And then we'll come back with some Astronarch. I think we are very much on our way to winning though. Mostly because this Sanctify build is dark build is <laughs> quite absurd even if we're forever going last yeah this chick is real annoying though Oh my god, we can't stop spawning little babies. Also, where are all my cars? Okay, now is the perfect time to, to smack this. Are you immune to Sanctify? No, you're not. This fight is literally me going last forever. Open the cocoons. Dark orb? Alright, let's get you some resistances. Ah, these are all like not good. For us. Sometimes they're very good, but for this crew. Overcharge 13. Um, no, I don't want to give them speed. We'll take the, the one negative card. Giving them speed to forever go first is a horrible decision. This is already a really tough fight. These last fights are always so tough. And we haven't made it any easier on ourselves either. But as we've gone full offensive. But sometimes offense is the best defense. And sanctify and darkness combo is very, very strong. <laughs> Even if I don't get a single card or a single item to give more darkness. Sitting here dealing, you know. Oh my god, look at Kirkley. 10k, what a beast. And we got buffer. No, let's give it to you.
Okay, start with this. <clears throat> Get the free card, smack that. Yo, I, I'm... <laughs> it's been so long, I'm kind of excited to give Astronarch uh, the good old college try again. I'll probably be garbage at the game. That game's really tough. Oh, I forgot the fire from uh, Mr. Gurkley when he hits. Doesn't it's not a lot of fire, but fire and also excuse me disarm. Yeah, we did Ashnark for a long while, kind of like a. <laughs> it was Ashnark for a long while. And then across the obelisk kind of took the the flagship and now it's still here. I imagine someday the same thing will happen with this where I'll like someday just have no more to give <laughs> and then we'll slow down until some big updates happen. All right, we need to uh, have you go. Okay, let's try to win. Yeah, it does. We we mentioned this a lot a lot of times, um, but Astronarch would be very nice with some Steam Workshop stuff to run certain builds with, or at least some sort of editor. Because I that's the biggest thing. It's like, oh, I'd love to try this build out, or like see what. Oh, hello. See what crazy thing. Hello. Dude, I can't- are all those bosses immune to Paralyze? I, I can't- I think they are, so I think it's not worth it. Yeah, there's a lot more stuff to do in this game. Yeah, they are. Okay, that was the good- that was a good call. Okay. This is where our mass dispel would be very handy. The hardest part with this fight is taking out the first guy. Because they're all super tanky on the... Okay, pretty good. The Chris of Exhaustion is pretty nice, actually. <laughs> okay, we have a ton of uh, man to work with here. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even realize when uh, when she applies Dark Shield, she also now applies Sanctify, and I forgot what translates to the enemies also translates to yourself. <laughs> so we applied Sanctify on ourselves, which is funny. Of course, you drew weak. That's rough. We're still gonna run Carnage just to get the vulnerable going and your bleed stacks, I guess, because. Kirkley in a nutshell. It's so much bleed. Oh, uh, do we kill? I think we try to kill this guy. Yeah, I'll I'll pass up the um. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we'll pass up the uh.
the insta kill later for getting one of them dead. Yeah, these guys. We once you get the first one down, it kind of <laughs> it's kind of rough for them from here on out. Oh, we'll save Detox. Detox might still be useful later. Poison Guy is going to be the last, like, third one we kill. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I saved that one more turn. It's going to be, you know, like, three or four turns away, actually, but... Let's infuriate. Let's do this. Let's do this. I should have probably sharpened first. Alright, we do have another Holy Blast, actually. Just not the better one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Poor Hydras, man. Stand literally no chance. Also, she has so much energy that even just playing this evocation does nothing. <laughs> it's pretty nice. Okay, uh, something's gonna blow up here, probably. God, this Sanctify is through the roof. Oh no. Ten Powerful is actually scary. That's gonna do a lot of damage if they hit us. Oh yeah, yeah, it w there is a little bit of a, a hiccup on the road, but we have, um, <laughs> yeah, we have, uh, revitalized ourselves and are now murdering. Yeah, Evelyn, Evelyn's too good. Just do this, safety. If there's one thing you can count on, it's that Evelyn will have enough energy to carry the entire game. And that the enemy will have 7 million sanctify on themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Look how ridiculous this is. Like, we took some damage, but we can literally just attack them, and we'll get back to full life. Oh, that was a, not the choice to taunt my dude. Oh, they're so dead. Anything? I don't think we unlocked anything again. I don't know what the last things we're missing are. All right, nothing here. I'd love to take the Storm Tiara, but the, unfortunately it is the end of the run. Uh, and with the end of the run, we did get some new stuff, comes the end of this video. So hey, thanks for hanging out. We'll be back in about 45 minutes to do some Astron Arc, because uh, I, I want to go introduce myself to the dog and make sure it's doing well. But hey, thank you all for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, I expect to see more new game plus stuff in the future since, uh, with nothing we succeeded so we can maybe do some fun runs from here uh if you guys have to go to bed because i know a lot of you that watch <laughs> tend to be not in the united states uh then have a fantastic night i'll see you guys all next time and as always uh thank you for watching